Okay, so for question 28, they said given a curve y square equals to x. So this is parabola. Uh, so this is not quadratic, this is par parabola. So we learn it first. Then we see y square. Normally we see x square, right? So when we see x square, it's quadratic. Quadratic if x square is positive, then quadratic is a neum. If x square is negative, it's quadratic mass sum. But this one we see when we have y square. It's like quadratic, but it is not open, open up or down. This is going to open uh, left or right. Okay, so when we see y square, and then you can see y square here. Uh, this is positive. So when this is positive, means this, this y square is open to the right. So this, this curve, we call it parabola. We will learn it in uh, topic 4 in details. So we see y square in positive x, then it will be open to the right. It will be like that. Okay, x square positive like this, x square negative like this. So y square, then we see this x. Uh, when you see positive, it's going open to the right. So if this x is in negative, uh, then you're going open to the left. So this is our parabola. We have four, four shape, open up, down, and then right and left. So obviously this one y square positive, so it will be open to the right. Uh, so this is this is the shape of this parabola and then line so this is a line so determine the point of intersection between this line and curve so they didn't ask us to draw yet they just asked us to find out the point so we have to solve this simultaneously so i will let x as a subject x equals to y square then will be easier also, also we can use no matter, never mind. So y square equals to x equation one, then y equals to negative two x plus one equation two. So we can substitute one into two, so that the position of x we will get to write it as y square. Okay, substitute. Because we know x is y squared, so we substitute here. Here is y squared. So notice that we get quadratic. So quadratic, everything we have to rearrange to the left hand side, do the factorize, then only we can get the correct sol solution. So this will be quadratic 2y squared plus y minus 1 equals to 0. We're going to factorize it. So 2y and then 1 plus minus so our y coordinate here will be 1 over 2 so 2 1 minus 1 so 1 over 2 here y will be equals to negative 1 then we will sub back into 2 to find x coordinate so to find x of okay, coordinate it is more easier we sub back into 1 so 1 we substitute here we get x so this x equals to y squared so 1 over 4. So this x equals to y squared equals to 1. So therefore, the intersections points are x is 1 over 4, y is 1 over 2. Another one, x is 1, y is negative 1. So these are our intersection point three marks so the marks will be coming on the location here solving the simultaneous and then each coordinate give us one mark so you can notice that uh, every year they will have different location of the marks but our concept we still need our intersection point solving simultaneous equation to find out our intersection point so this concept will not be changed the mark location may be changed okay then we look at our question b they say sketch the graph so you notice that every time we need our area and volume they need they ask us to sketch sketch sketching so sketching our curve and line on the same axis and then we have to shape it as region r bounded by this curve and line so label the point of intersection so whatever we have done here we have to label in so that we can get the uh, graphing complete complete labeling so just now i said y square plus x 
times y squared equals to x is a parabola open to the right. Okay, so parabola open to the right. Whether we have two points or one point, you can see when x equals to 0, y is equals to 0 means when it open to the right, the intersection point is at origin. So therefore, the curve will be open to the right like this. So they touch y axis at one point only. If the graph want to touch y axis at two points, we will draw like this. Then we will have uh, two y coordinate, but you can see here when s equals to zero, y also equals to zero. So our intersection point only involving one point, which is origin. So it's not like this. Huh? So it's not like this. It's not cutting the y axis in two points, only one. So that will be our curve. Then we draw our line. So our line. Label first. So this is y squared equals to x. So we look at our line here. Our line equation is negative 2x plus 1. So when you have negative, means this straight line has negative gradient. When you have negative gradient, means you're going down. Okay, so when you're going down, uh, so we can find our intercept. When x equals to 0, so for y equals to negative 2x plus 1, you can find out when x equals to 0, y is equals to 1. So when y is equals to 0, x is equals to uh, 1 over 2. Then we can identify the point already. So when x equals to 0, so they are going down like this. This is our straight line. So this is the point of 1. This is the point of 1 over 2. So y equals to negative 2x plus y. And then don't forget what they mentioned is label our point of intersection. So our point of intersection, 1, 4, so which is here, 1 over 4, 1 over 2, another point at the down here will be 1, negative 1. So for Max, it will be um, drawing the shape. Okay, the shape of the parabola, and then number two, the shape of the the shape of the line, and then the third mark here will be labeling. Okay, labeling label all your x, uh, x axis, y axis, intercept. Your intersection point, then will be give you completely three marks. So finally, what they ask us to do, they say, oh, one more. We have to shape our region, which our region is bounded by curve and line. So this is our region. So we have to shape, shape it. So I will shape it horizontally. Uh, so for this graph. Uh, we were referring horizontally, which means we were referring by y axis, uh, horizontally y axis. We can't referring it uh, vertically. We can't see it as x axis because you can see our curve is uh, go back to its curve itself. So this is its original curve, the blue color with blue color. So you cannot. So we have to refer it as uh, horizontally y axis so that you can see they link our line and curve together uh, so that they didn't contract they didn't con they didn't conflict the graph by itself so the only way we can do is by referring y dy and then question c they ask us to find this region what is the area for this region so this will be lower limit negative one this upper limit 1 over 2. When we referring horizontally, this area can be integrated for the lowest part here up to the highest part. So the lower part here will be negative 1. 
the highest is 1 over 2 so you always can see the right hand side uh, is pink color graph minus the left hand side blue color curve so when we have two curve concept when we see this area is not attached to the y axis means this is two curve concept uh, so we can take our right hand side graph minus our left hand side graph uh, minus this empty space means the line minus curve to get the area so when you want to do it in uh, referring y axis every term have to every graph have to in terms of y so i change i have to change the curve in terms of y first so for quadratic y square equals to x so x will be equals to y square for line y equals to negative 2x plus 1 change in term of y so negative 2x or I, 2x equals to 1 minus y so x will become 1 minus y over 2 okay so this is our uh, the curve in term of y so we will take the curve at the right hand side here which is 1 minus y over 2 minus the curve at left hand side which is y squared in order to find our area by referring to y axis which is dy so how to integrate we have to simplify first okay i will simplify this is 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2y so that we can read it clearly so integrate constant it will upgrade become linear so 1 over 2y so integrate this y will be power plus 1 over new power so 2 times 2 become 4 for here power plus 1 y power 3 if you want new power 3 so 1 over 2 negative 1 then we just perform upper limit minus lower limit and then we write the answer So just write out the step clearly. And then you press your calculator, get 9 over 60 unit square. So in order to find the marks, so like usual, formula first. Formula forming to find out the area, then integration, and then writing out which value minus which value, upper limit minus lower limit to get to the final answer. So how about question D? They say calculate the volume. So just now they asked us to find uh, area. So for finding area, we use direct integration like this. But if you want to find volume, the formula will be so no matter they want to rotate 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, rotation, how many circle, how many round, also it doesn't matter. Our formula will maintain as pi. Alright? So you have to be careful here. Our formula will maintain x pi. No matter is rotate 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, how many rotations, how many rounds they want to go, it doesn't affect our formula. So our formula will maintain x pi. So if you want to find this volume, okay, so the lower limit, upper limit still same, negative 1 up to 1 over 2. But if you want to find volume, our equation have to square. So I need to take the green color equation square minus the left function here. So the left curve here. So the left equation square. So for the line square, which is 1 minus y over 2 square minus the curve. So the curve here is y square. Square again become power of 4, referring to dy. So what we can do, we simplify first. Okay, we expand, we expand our 
can we as uh, we expand this first so that you become one over y square over four okay so up here if we don't want to expand it's okay because this is a linear part you can integrate a bracket inside here is linear you can use formula number three so formula number three they will say the bracket here power plus one over new power so times three then over the coefficient of the linear here coefficient of y here which is negative one so meanwhile for this integration power plus one over new power then we we write our upper limit minus lower limit clearly Okay, so for this five marks, so the first mark is forming our volume formula. And then simplify, we have uh, some concept of simplify, then only we can integrate and substitute our upper limit over minus lower limit to get answer.